Hello, it's Mr. Omar here and I'm going to do task 4 which is a simple temperature converter. It is on page 14, but just before I go I'll fix that up because I realised I had that wrong in the last tutorial. So, page 14. So I jump across to my PDF, go down to page 14, and here in fact is the code. So, it tells me that I can do equations, which is all good and that that is the equation for turning Celsius into Fahrenheit. Actually, Fahrenheit into Celsius, which is what this does. So, we ask for the temperature in Fahrenheit, and we call that FAHR, and then we put this into this equation, and then we the temperature is this in Celsius. So, let's go down until we find the actual code. Oh, to miss the actual code. Let's go up again. Oh, there it is. So, there's the code and we're going to pop it into our compiler and run it. And so, here we go. Now, you, I often hear in um, movies and stuff people saying, oh, it's 100 degrees in the United States, which is where they use Fahrenheit. So, I'm going to put in 100 degrees and that's in fact 37.777 repeating. So, that's the basic one and now I'm going to modify it. So, what I'm going to say is, enter the distance in miles. Miles, and I'm going to call that miles, not surprisingly. So, that's done. Now, kilometres, which I'm going to call kilo, equals, now, this is where I need to do a bit of research. So I pop over to the internet and I found a site that lets me convert from one to the other. So I put in 10 miles and it says it's 16.09344 kilometres. So I know that I need to times it by 1.6 and so forth to get 10 to turn into that. Which is So you know, if I made it 100 for instance, it'll be 160. So let's just do that to make sure it's correct. Excellent. So in fact, one mile becomes... So one, so in fact that's what I times it by, is that figure there. So I go back to my program. So a kilo equals that number times... Now I actually don't need anything quite so complicated. Miles. And that so the distance, so that it's not talking about temperature, distance in kilometres, full colon, plus Celsius. So I'm going to change that to um, kilo. And now I'm going to run it and hope it works. So distance in miles, 10 miles, equals, there we go. So run it again. Oh, OK, so it's going to be 15 miles down the road, so that's in fact 24.14 kilometres. So there you go. I took the program and I turned it into something of my own, which is what you'll be doing too.